a few videos ago, I told you guys that this was gonna be my last time riding this bike with V brakes on there. Now, a couple of weeks later, I have fully converted this bike to disc brakes. And it's pretty easy, pretty simple. I created a list for you guys, going over pretty much everything you need to convert a big ripper, big flyer, the disc brakes. All right, guys, so the first thing you're gonna need to convert any bike to disc brakes is a hydraulic disc brake adapter. The company I went with is Stack BMX. They offer a great high quality disc brake adapter. You can put this disc brake adapter on any 3.8 horizontal dropout. It fits many bikes such as Throne, SC bikes, Haro, pretty much any kind of dropout style like this, it should work. I can't speak for any other style of dropouts on different kind of bikes because I've never tried it but pretty much for anything like this with this 3.8 horizontal dropout, it should work guys. So definitely, 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 I would recommend the Stack BMX hydraulic disc brake adapter. He's a genius. Another reason why I went with the Stack BMX disc brake adapter because honestly, it's easy to install. It literally fits right between the frame of the bike, it literally slides right on. You don't really need to make too many crazy modifications. You might need a spacer or two, but you should be fine. So definitely, definitely, definitely link is in the bio to the Stack BMX disc brake adapter. The next thing you're gonna need to convert your bike to disc brakes are obviously the brakes. And the brakes that I'm using are Shimano MT200s. If we wanted something, we just took it. If anyone complained twice, they got hit so bad, believe me, they never complained again. The reason why I went with the Shimano MT200 is because they're fairly affordable. You can pick these up off of Amazon for like 57 bucks, shipped to your door with that two day shipping if you got Amazon Prime. But yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely just recommend you get some good brakes. It don't have to be the best, but they gotta be hydro brakes because the whole point of this upgrade is to convert your bike to hydraulic disc brakes. So any hydro brakes will work, but I decided to go with the MT200 for the simple fact that I had them on my old D Blocks Big Ripper. So definitely, definitely, definitely would recommend some MT200. I mean, I'm cutting. I haven't had no issues with them yet. I'm still low-key trying to break these in. So y'all ain't going to be seeing no crazy 12 o'clocks, but it's getting the job done. Now, the rotor I have on this bike is a 180 millimeter. I like to have that extra stopping power when I'm wheeling. You could use a 160 millimeter rotor. You can use a 180. The one I have on here is a Tektro 180 millimeter rotor, and it stopped like a dime. You want a 12 o'clock? I'm still trying to break in my brakes. Don't 12 o'clock on brand new brakes, guys. And I ain't cutting that out. <laughs> but nah, definitely, definitely get you a nice 160 millimeter or 180 millimeter, whatever you prefer. If you're gonna get the 180 millimeter rotor, you're gonna need to get the adapter for it as well. Amazon sells it, eBay sells it. It's about 10 or 12 bucks. I have a picture of both on the screen, but this is the rotor I have. It's freaking huge. And I like that big rotor for when I'm going down bridges, going down hills, whatever, that stopping power. I need to have that stopping power. So that's why I went with 180 millimeter. So the next upgrade you're gonna need, which is not really needed, but it's recommended, and that is a 33 tooth ride out supply sprocket. And the reason why I go with these sprockets is because they just simply help me wheelie my bike way more easier. Upgrading from a 36 tooth to a 33 tooth just simply makes my big ripper easier to wheel. That hard takeoff that the 36 tooth had, me personally, I just don't prefer. I don't like it. That 33 tooth helps that with that easy takeoff, that easy pop up the wheel. You can't go wrong with it. They're strong, they're reliable. I never have any problems with the 33 tooth ride out supply sprockets. I went with a chrome with a black silver vinyl reflective. It's cool at night, I like it. You could pick up sprocket up for about 54 bucks. The next thing you're gonna need to convert any bike to disc brakes is a disc brake aluminum adapter. And this adapter is gonna thread onto your hub, especially if you have an SC hub. SC hubs tend to come with 16 tooth. Any flip flop hub should work. Uh, you're gonna wanna take off your old freewheel and install this aluminum adapter. However, when you install the aluminum adapter, you do have to remove your old freewheel. And that's why the next part I'm also gonna recommend 
It's a Rod Out Supply 15 tooth free wheel. So you hear this loud bad boy. That is a 15 tooth free wheel from Rod Out Supply, 108 pounds, I believe. Uh, the engagement on it is really good. It really helps with my wheelies. Anytime someone gets a big ripper, I recommend they get any kind of loud free wheel. I've always gone with the Rod Out Supply free wheels. 15 tooth, 16 tooth, 17 tooth. They got them for any kind of bikes that you guys made wheelie, but for the big rippers, if you wanna have that best wheelie gear ratio, you're gonna go with a 33 tooth rocket and a 15 tooth free wheel. I say it in all my videos, guys. I'm not capping. It literally will help out your willies guys Right, guys i hope this video was able to help you pretty much figure out everything you need to convert your bike big flyer big ripper any kind of wheelie bike that you want to convert to disc brakes i hope this video could help you out again i want to go over all the parts you're going to need for this build first is going to be a hydraulic disc brake adapter from stack bmx then you're going to need the brake rotor adapter aluminum i got that off of amazon you're also going to need some mt200s or any hydraulic brakes that you prefer is fine. But I went with the MT200 because they're fairly affordable. You're gonna need a 180 millimeter or 160 millimeter brake rotor adapter. The Stax BMX adapter is compatible with the 160 millimeter, but I went ahead and went with 180 millimeter and I didn't really have to do much modifications. The next thing you're gonna need, 33 tooth sprocket from Rado Supply or any 33 tooth sprocket you prefer. My recommendation is the Rado Supply stuff. Never can go wrong, never gave me any issues. As well as a 15 tooth Rado Supply free wheel. And I mean, if you want that loud sounding free wheel when you're doing wheelies, that's gonna be your go-to. And you're also gonna need a brake mount adapter, which is also up on the screen. You can pick one of these up off of Amazon for like 10, 15 bucks. It depends on what size you're gonna go with. Again, I'm running a 180 millimeter brake rotor, so I'm gonna run a 180 millimeter brake rotor adapter. That's that, guys. I hope this video was able to help you guys out. The link to all the parts that I just said in this video is down in the description below. Be sure to check it out. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We're on the road to 100 key subs. Comment down below what other tips or anything you guys need help with. And I'm gonna either try to answer it in the comments down below or try to make a video about it. Enjoy your summer, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.